All right, folks. It's about two hours later on the same day. It's pretty late at night, and I have some sort of, I assume, stress headache. My head is, is all kinds of fucked up. But I can't sleep. Because I just lost so many of my favorite Pokemon to a bunch of dumb bullshit that was probably my fault. And I, I can't sleep until this is rectified. So I'm going to go back. Hopefully I don't have to do any of that stuff again. Hopefully I can go straight to Guzma. It looks like that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to obliterate him and nobody is going to die. And this new team of six is going to, to make up for what the previous team could not do. And we're just going to win. And we're just going to keep winning and winning and winning for the rest of the game. Guzma, I, I really wanted to complete this Nuzlocke without having a full team wipe, because in my mind I just lost. Like I'm, I'm continuing this based on a, on a made up rule I did specifically for this Nuzlocke, just so that I could hopefully make it to the end of the game. But in my own mind, I already lost. Like for me, if you have a full team wipe, the Nuzlocke is over. I feel like a defeated loser, and I'm going to take those bad feelings out on you right now. Because I don't like feeling this way, boys. I I was supposed to win, and I fucked it up. You know, this is my new Mimikyu. I need the redemption, and I think I know, hopefully, the right way to get it. Let's start off with a baby doll eyes. Since you're going, ooh, what's first impression? Oh my fucking god, so much damage. That's why we're going for the baby doll eyes first. Gotta lower... Lower that goddamn attack stat. And now we switch to Butler Block, who will intimidate you and lower that attack even more, since evidently... Evidently, uh, all your attacks do 80% damage to me. So let's see if we can lower your stats a little bit more. Sucker Punch failed. Perfect. Keep on trying to Sucker Punch, because folks... Butler Block learned a little attack I like to call a Dragon Dance. I'm disappointed that the, the Splash, the Z Splash strategy never really paid off. But when I saw Dragon Dance was available, I had no other choice. You know, like, it had to be Dragon Dance over Splash. So let's get off as many Dragon Dances as we can, folks. I'm thinking six. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking, you know, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis on these dragon dances. Let's see if he keeps trying to sucker punch me for the next six turns. Oh, what's that? My attack stat is going to be 1,500 and my speed is going to be 1,000? Oh yeah, good luck to your shitty fucking team full of garbage fast Pokemon. Oh, oh, the stupid AI thinks it has to sucker punch every time? Oh, well... That's a little, uh, that's a little too bad, isn't it? That sure does suck for you, Guzma, when your AI is so fucking dumb. I, I realized I wanted to give leftovers to Butler Block, but maybe this is better. Maybe this is better to have the, the Z, the Z water crystal, because Aqua Tail has a 90% accuracy, and knowing my luck... <laughs> oh, he, he's actually hitting me now, what do you know? Wow, nice. See, the, the leftovers could have healed me up a little bit there. But the Z-Power has an accuracy of 100, as opposed to Aqua Tail's 90. So when I go up against the guy that I need to knock out in one hit, I'll be able to do so. I think that was Dragon Dance number 6. I think that spells the end of Guzma. Razor Shell again. Perfect. Oh man, I'm down to a 101. What am I gonna do? Six Dragon Dances. I guess I'll go for, I don't know, a Crunch, maybe? Mm, yeah, let's see what happens. Are you gonna emergency exit today? What the fuck? What the fuck? S what? What? What the fuck? Wh How? Okay. Uh, what? What? Uh, uh I, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Go for this, Butler Block. I'm, I'm at a loss. Uh, how in the fuck? I, I don't know, man. 
just kill this Vika Volt, otherwise we're dead because he has Thunderbolt, and of course a Thunderbolt kills a Gyarados in one hit. So if this Hydro Vortex somehow doesn't kill it in one hit, just like that Crunch failed, then I guess we're done. Okay, Vika Volt's taken care of. I think we still got this. I'm just... I was, I was thrown for a loop, folks! That a, a, a plus six attack Pokemon did not take out the enemy in one hit. Especially when Butler Block has such incredible attack stat. I, d I don't get it. Okay, let's check these accuracies. 95 accuracy, I don't trust that. 100% accuracy, and then of course 90. Aqua Tail, the stab move, would be the stronger one. But fuck that. I'm not taking any risks here. Let's go for the Crunch. Crunch better finish off Pinsir in one hit. It better. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. What the hell was that? How did Golisopod survive? Is his... Does he have the highest defense stat in the whole game or something? Am I missing something here? What's going on? Yeah, Intimidate. Great. Yeah, now I'm only plus five. Oh, man. Too bad Ice Fang is super effective, bitch. Get the fuck out of my face, Masquerade. Killing my whole goddamn team last time. How about you go fuck yourself? Who's faster now, you stupid little cunt-ass bug-flying bitch fuckface? Golisopod. Oh, welcome back. I don't know how you survived a moment ago, but let's see what happens when I crunch you again. First impression? Fuck off! Fuck off! Get out of my fucking face, Cosma! You piece of shit! Fuck you! First impression bullshit. Shaking my head, fam. Shaking my head, fam. Yeah, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with me is that you just knocked out four of my favorite Pokemon. That's what's fucking wrong with me today. <sighs> we should be able to reach the Luzamine at last. It's not over yet. It's really not over yet. Am I going to have to fight somebody else? Was I just destined to have everything die here? Is that what's going on? Because this is insanity. Jesus fucking... Okay, I guess we keep going! What, am I gonna fight Ultra Necrozma here? Is that what's going on? Th that can't be right! I don't know when Ultra Necrozma is, but it can't be fucking right now. Show her your power? God damn! This is fucking insanity! That they have so many incredibly difficult fights in a row! <sighs> Poi pull again, awesome. I don't even remember what you are. I don't even fucking remember what this thing is, or what kinds of what kinds of attacks it uses, or anything at all. Go for a Thunder Wave. Let's see how much his attack is gonna do X defense. Yeah, smart thinking, buddy. Thunder Wave that bitch. It's weak to ground, but I don't have a Groundium Z as far as I know. So let's just uh, let's hit him with a big breakneck blitz. I know it's not gonna kill him, but we can do some good damage here and then switch to somebody who can finish him off no problem. I'm getting so sick of this shit, folks. I can't believe how much garbage they stack up all of a sudden. Like, the game with such a slow, boring pace, and then they throw everything at you, like, all at the same time. It's crazy to me. Yeah, didn't even... didn't do a fucking thing. Let's switch to Ninja Santa and see if we can't get off an Earthquake or two on him. I don't think he levitates, even though he's obviously levitating in the air right there. Oh, now we're poisoned, so now he can use fucking... <sighs> Venishock or some shit, and probably finish off Ninja Santa in one hit. Which will be great. Which will be awesome to see. Ah, uh, go for the Earthquake. Maybe he'll be paralyzed and his Venishock won't go off and we'll be safe. God, it didn't do anything. That 1x defense really helped him out. Oh, good. Good, he's paralyzed this turn. Everything's coming up Millhouse today. I mean, the leftovers kicks in, but boy, that poison is gonna fuck us up, especially if he hits us with a big move. I don't trust like that, folks. I don't trust like that. Unfortunately, <laughs> King Ant only has poison moves. Um... All right, folks, you can see my new strategy on Violet Vex. It's not going to work against this guy because he's already paralyzed. But the idea, of course, being toxic somebody and then wish and protect back and forth forever. But for now, we're going to use Soak to make him a water type, pure water type, 
so that when he keeps using these poison moves, he doesn't get the stab bonus. So all we're doing right now is parrying him down, so then when he does all this dumb bullshit, it doesn't hurt us as much. And we'll switch to King Ant, because now all of his poison moves are going to be effective, rather than not very effective. And all of his poison moves on me aren't gonna do a motherfucking thing. How do you like that for Team Synergy, you stupid poi fuck? Yeah, how do you like it? Go for the cross poison, fuck him up! Oh, what's that, poi -pole? You weren't expecting a cross poison attack to actually do damage to you? How do you like that? Hey, let's do it again. Let's cross poison him again. He can't even hurt us anymore. He can't poison us, his poison attacks don't have stab bonus, and they're not very effective. This thing has been destroyed from the inside out. Everything I could do to just minimize his power and fucking hyper potion doesn't even matter. I don't even give a single fuck. I don't care. Fuck you. In fact, I'm going to use haze, which means that that, you know, little extra defense you got. It's no more. Yeah, haze him out. No more extra defense. We're gonna go back to cross poisoning you. And since you use that X defense, and you'll probably use another one, actually, you just use two items. So I get two items as well. Not that I'll need them, because I'm going for the cross poison again. Slow and steady wins the motherfucking race when you can't hurt me, bitch. And Poi Pull is done. How many more boss fights are, are coming up? Five? Are there five more before we're done at this shitty area? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. You know, I bet this is just a warm-up. I bet the best is yet to come. I bet Ultra Necrozma is behind this next door. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, they keep talking about him. I bet he's right fucking here. My whole team's gonna die again. I wouldn't be surprised. Fuck it. Just do it. Just kill me again. It's fine. I guess the game's over. Oh, of course, yeah, Lusamine wants to fight, you know, why not? You know, I mean, nine boss battles in a row wasn't enough, let's go for a tenth one. You know, it's fine. It's, we don't need to space these things out over the course of the game, let's put it all right together! Monkey versus Lusamine! Five Pokémon! Awesome, can't wait! Gonna be fun! Fun on a bun, I can't wait! I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. What the hell bullshit attacks is Clefable gonna have, I don't know. Let's start off with a Thunder Wave, I guess. Come on, this is the B Team, folks! The B Team is here to stay! B Team will knock out Luzamine all day, that's what I say, Moonblast. Okay, well, good thing I didn't go for Baby Doll Eyes. And it does almost over half. Almost. Ah, okay. Well, we there's no use in lowering its attack, because it's using special attacks. I wish we... Um, uh, King Ant, maybe? Do we want to go to King Ant now? To fight this fairy? I guess so. Uh, it's gonna go for a fairy move. Go to King Ant, and let's see what happens. I'm really out of it. I shouldn't be playing right now. Hyper Voice. Normal attack, I think. So, awesome. He predicted my switch. He sure did. Let's go for... Cross Poison. Should kill him in one hit. Hopefully. If we're lucky. Almost. We're, of course we're not lucky, and now our best guy is gonna be crippled and down for the count, isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty low. Finish off this Clefable with a Venoshock! Get him out of my face. It's one down, four to go. The B team lives to see another day. Two of my Pokémon at half health already. Just from a Clefable. Ninja Santa goes up to 47. And he's, she sends out Beware. Beware. Why would you send that out against King Ant? Probably because you have some sort of thunder punch, maybe? You sent him out against King Ant for a reason. That's all I know. That's all I know. Maybe Ninja Santa. Does anybody have a super effective move? We could do the Violet Vex strategy. Let's try that. Let's see if we can't pull off a, a quick Violet Vex. It really depends on how much damage their first attack does to see if this will work. Drain Punch. You were going for Drain Punch against a Crobat. Okay. You know? You know what? Maybe the AI is a genius, because it made the right choice, because I switched. I switched. No matter what I do, the AI is right. I'm a fucking retard, no matter what. Go for the Soak. We gotta lower... We gotta lower his attack power. Gotta get rid of that Stab Bonus by making him a pure Water type, and now he goes for Takedown. Would've been Stab Bonus, but now it's not. God, it's so powerful. 
Another hit's gonna kill me, so we have to switch again. We have to switch to... Butler block. Maybe we should, um... Now that he has been soaked, we can intimidate him. And get his attack low enough that I, I feel comfortable to use the Dragon Dance strategy. So lower his attack even more than it already was. He goes for Drain Punch against Butler Block. Not that big of a deal. Hopefully not that big of a deal. He heals up a little bit of that health. Let's go for a Dragon Dance. Go for a Dragon Dance. Let's see how many we can get off. Uh, what's he gonna do? Take down any misses. Hey, that's nice to see. Let's go for Dragon Dance again. I have no idea if any of, her, any of her Pokemon have, like, you know, Sucker Punch or anything that would overcome a, a, a Dragon Danced Pokemon and just fuck me over. Wow, that did a lot of damage, didn't it? That sure did do a lot of damage. God damn it. Go for the Crunch. Two Dragon Dances better be enough to at least beat this Beware. No, it didn't do anything at all. I have a feeling that Crunch doesn't care about stat changes, does it? I mean, it's not fucking doing anything. It's not doing a fucking thing. I can't believe this, but I think I'm gonna lose again. I, there's nothing I can do. Everything I do is wrong. Beware is too strong, evidently. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Go to Kandra's cars? I mean, I've intimidated him, and I've taken away his stab bonus, and he's still doing incredible damage to me with every attack. I don't stand a chance. God damn. Go for... Is he holding an item? Do I want to go for knockoff? I'll go for revenge because he's probably faster than me. Drain punch. Okay, revenge. Maybe revenge will take him out because it's going to do double damage, but this beware is so bulky, I doubt it'll do anything at all. It probably won't do anything at all. No, it didn't. He's just fucking invincible. I... I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Go for revenge again? He goes for takedown, which seals his fate unless he gets me. Nope, he didn't get me. So he should be dead from this revenge. If not... Okay. Okay, that's two down, three to go. All my Pokemon are fucking on, on the brink of death. And they're all gonna be slower, so we're just gonna get obliterated. Cross chop. 100 power. We could get rid of, uh, could get rid of Brick Break for this one. Because Revenge will pretty much always do 120 because he's slower than everything. Yeah, let's get rid of Brick Break for this one, I think. Not that it really matters because I think Kandris Cars is about to die before he even gets an attack off. So you know, you know how it goes. I wasted two turns on Dragon Dances that ultimately didn't do a single thing. Lilligant. All right, Lilligant. All my attacks are apparently effective against it, and I really don't want to fight it. It's It's got to be faster than me. It's got to be going for a one-hit kill move. So maybe I shouldn't go for the Z-Power. Can't use Ninja Santa against this thing, but King Gant, maybe. Maybe King Gant can take care of this one. I really, really hope so. Go to King Gant. Hopefully it uses a grass attack that doesn't do any damage to me. Pedal Dance, perfect! That shouldn't do more than like, what, 10 damage? No, of course! Four times unaffected does 20 damage, folks! Hey! Welcome to the Monkey Nuzlocke! Welcome! One and all, let's go for a Cross Poison that'll probably do one-third damage, even though it's super effective. Oh, what are you- Lucky day, we got a crit, folks! We got a crit! Three down, two to go! I've never been more unhappy playing a Pokemon game in my life than these last couple episodes. And now we figure out who to switch to again. Low Punny, what are you going for? Something that's gonna kill me in one hit, I have to assume. Given any of these, yeah, probably. Ninja Santa, do you wanna fight this guy? What's it gonna have? Like a high jump kick? Probably. Um, uh, I guess go to Ninja Santa, because he's the only one who has full health. I wish she would use an item, I guess, so that I could use an item, but then again, I, I don't want her to use an item either. Ice Punch! Was this the right switch in? Eh, it looks like it was okay. It's a good thing I switched. Crobat was gonna die for sure. Well, I, I guess we go for my best move, Earthquake. Let's see what Ninja Santa can do. Dizzy Punch, awesome. 
Oh, I thought it would make me uh, confused, but it didn't. And I think I can survive one more hit, especially after leftovers, so... Well, would've been nice if that did over half, but of course, you know... You know, it's not gonna do over half. Dizzy Punch will probably confuse me this time, and then I'll kill myself in confusion, but go for the Earthquake again! Ice Punch? What, did he think I was gonna switch? Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Oh, man! Who could've predicted I would freeze? from an attack. Wow. Great. 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 Bah. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. No, I... I don't know. I don't know. Violet Vex, maybe she'll go for Ice Punch again and you'll resist it, but it'll still do 100 damage even though you resist it! Ice Punch again, oh, do 100 damage and freeze me. Oh, oh good. It went as perfectly as it could. Let's go for a quick protect just to get, I guess, 10 more health back from the leftovers and I guess to see what she's going for, even though this AI seems to be really random. Thunder Punch, oh, that's nice to see. Nice to know that Thunder Punch is coming. Great. So if Thunder Punch is coming, then we want to go to pretty much nobody. If Thunder Punch is coming, go to Ninja Santa, I suppose. Because then it won't affect him. But now you're probably going to switch to Ice Punch because you predicted I was going to switch. No, you went for Thunder Punch again. We get more health back. Are we going to unfreeze? That'd be nice. I guess it doesn't tell us. I guess it doesn't tell us if we're going to unfreeze. We could try to go for an attack. We could try. But we're going to stay frozen. But we could try. I know that it's not going for Thunder Punch. So maybe I go to Violet Vex again. And then maybe we get lucky and show slowly but surely. Leftovers heals us all the way back up. <laughs> I don't know. I know that he's not going for Thunder Punch. It can't be that dumb. So go to Violet Vex. Let's see oh, what happens. Dizzy Punch. How much will that do? Probably all of it. Yeah, well, you know, you know, I think I'm going to lose again, folks. You guys were right. This Nuzlocke is too hard. It's way too fucking hard. <sighs> Go to Sam and Taxi for the, for the sacrifice, I suppose. Hopefully he can take one hit and we can get off a of baby doll eyes. Thunder Punch coming straight my way. Sam and Taxi. We could Thunder Wave, maybe. But he, that thing's going to be faster than me and knock me out right now. So I go for Baby Doll Eyes just to weaken it so that we can still survive this fight, hopefully. Lower that attack a little bit. Here comes Fire Punch to do how much? Okay. Baby Doll Eyes again? Do I dare? I think Sam and Taxi is pretty much dead. Um, I have to accept that everybody's dead in this fight, but Sam and Taxi is definitely dead. But let's see if he survives this hit. No, yeah, he did. He did. So now that that thing's attack has been lowered twice, who can I switch into? Nobody? Yeah, probably nobody. Probably nobody. Candra's cars? You know, do you think you can survive a, a hit or two now that its attack has been super lowered? I hope you can. I hope you can. Let's go to Kandra's cars. Sam and Taxi survived. Could have gone for another baby doll eyes, but if we can save people, you know, maybe we should. Oh, oh wow. Wow, really, Fire Punch burned me. I didn't know it could do that. I actually had no idea it could do that. That's really nice to know, though. That's a great effect. They should use that more often. It's so good. <sighs> Yeah. I guess I don't know what I was thinking with this switch in. I, I guess I assumed Kandra's cars could be... Could, would be able to take two hits and uh, knock out Low Pony, but that's not going to happen. That's not going to fucking happen. Kandra's cars is done. Um, Just in case it misses, I guess finish it off with all-out pummeling. Ice Punch to finish me off. Kandra's cars is dead. No surprise there. Here's the strategy I should have been doing that I just realized. You go to Butler Block to Intimidate. You go to Butler Block to Intimidate. It's gonna go for Thunder Punch, and then you switch to Ninja Santa. I should have been doing this, folks. Kandra's cars, or whoever the fuck, 
just died for no reason because I should have been doing this strategy instead. Oh, n never mind. It didn't go for Thunder Punch against a fucking Gyarados. How foolish could I be to assume such a thing would happen? Great. Well, maybe we'll wake up. Ice Punch. Oh, yeah, still frozen. Not unfreezing anytime soon, it looks like. This is just dreadful. This is terrible. I hate every moment of this. I guess we know he's not going for Thunder Punch, so hey, let's intimidate him again! Fuck it! Fuck it, Butler Block! You could probably take a, another hit if he's had his attack lowered, what, four times now? Unless he gets a crit? Intimidate him again. Go for it. Ice Punch. How much is that gonna do? 14. Oh, and it didn't freeze. What do you know? I, I thought a freeze was coming right around the corner. Let's... If I can get Violet Vex in there to take two hits, which I don't think I can do, I can use Wish to heal somebody up, and that that is what I need to do. Maybe I can even heal everybody up if I keep this thing's attack as low as possible. Let's go to Ninja Santa again. And see if he goes for the Thunder Punch this time. What's he going for? Fire Punch! I, I don't get it. I don't know how it picked- Hey, yeah, Fire Punch thawed me out! Thanks! <laughs> don't know why you did that. Don't know why you did that, but that's funny. He's not going for Thunder Punch. Can Butler Black intimidate him again? I mean, he, he can, but will he survive it? I don't know. That's a different question. That's a different question. Or do I... Nah, Ninja Santa shouldn't go for the kill. Because then we still have one other, one other Pokemon to take care of. We need to try to use Violet Vex to cure everybody up. I just don't know if we can. I don't know if we can, folks. Muddy Water, does that lower accuracy if it hits? It may lower their accuracy. Let's try one Muddy Water, because I know it's not going to kill it. Oh, Thunder Punch, I'll probably be frozen anyway. Let's see if we can lower its accuracy by one, just to give Violet Vex a little bit more of a shot here. Nope, no accuracy lower today, it looks like. Oh well. We will switch to Vi- When I switch in Violet Vex, it's gonna go for a Thunder Punch anyway, but maybe it won't be doing that much anymore. Go to Violet Vex! We're relying on you to take this hit, Violet Vex! And then start healing up from your leftovers. Ice Punch, are you gonna freeze? It does 8 damage and doesn't freeze. Okay, here comes the Thunder Punch. Did that only do three from leftovers, or, or was it 13? I couldn't tell. Let's go for Protect on that Thunder Punch. Protect on that Thunder Punch. Oh, it went for fucking Fire Punch. Is it just picking random attacks here, folks? I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. All right, go for the Wish. F fire Punch again. Interesting choice. Oh, burned. Awesome. Great. Go for that wish. I really wish we weren't burned. Let me heal up a bit from this. And we take burn damage. 13 burn damage. Who wants to have their wish come true today, folks? Who should it be? Who should it be? Should it just be Violet Vex even though it's burned? Probably not. Probably not. But it could be. I mean, Violet Vex, you know, even with the burn, this toxic strategy is pretty good. If we can get its health all the way back up, maybe we should just rely on that. It's worth a shot, I suppose. Go for the protect. I really wish we weren't burned, but what are you gonna do? We still have the leftovers and we have wish heal. So we got a lot of healing things on us and burn only does 13 per turn anyway. And how much does uh, leftovers do? Okay, so leftovers makes up for the burn entirely. So it's like the burn doesn't exist. Let's go for wish again. Go for wish again. And you're not doing any damage to me anymore. Maybe we can finish this off with Violet Vex. I really wish we didn't have to sacrifice Candace cars in the process, but it seems I'm destined to not use a fighting Pokemon in this Nuzlocke. They all just keep dropping like flies. Let's go for protect again. This whole episode is going to be this fight. It's just going on forever, and I'm not going to cut anything out, probably. Because what is there to cut out besides me being sad and angry? <laughs> Which is what you're all here for. I've been getting too many comments on this Nuzlocke saying there's not enough monkey pain. Well, here you go. It's nothing but. Violet Vex is fully healed. Maybe we can use this opportunity to also heal up other people before we go for the 
the toxic strategy. How much is that going to do? Not a whole lot. I'll use Wish, and I'll switch into somebody who needs to have their health go up by half. Who could it be? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what attack that thing's going for, but most of its attacks are not effective at all against Ninja Santa, so we can heal him up pretty easily. So let's try to do that. Ninja Santa, your wish is coming true today, my friend! Fire punch, that shouldn't do shit. It'll probably burn me, though. No, it didn't. We heal up from leftovers and from the wish. So now we have two Pokemon back in the saddle to fight. Let's see if we can't get more of them. Let's see if we can't heal up everybody to fight this last guy, because fuck you. Fuck Lopunny, fuck this bitch, and fuck the audience. You gotta watch Violet Vex, Violet Vex do wish a hundred fucking times. That's what this is now. That's what this Nuzlocke is now. It's just wish and burn damage and healing. Go for the wish. Let's make more wishes come true, folks. Ice punch to freeze. No, you can't freeze because I'm burned. Nice try. <laughs> this low bunny's gonna run out of PP soon, I think. I think that's what's gonna happen. Burn again. Let's switch to who else wants to get healed up for this fight? King Ant? Sure. Yeah, let's heal up King Ant. Unless it goes for, you know, Ice Punch and kills him in one hit. Which will probably happen. <laughs> Dizzy Punch. Ah, well. Get some, uh, get a whole bunch of healing. That, does, how much does Wish do? I thought it was half. But it did way more than half. Is it half of Al Alamola's health? Because that's what it seems like. I think it did like over a hundred health right there. That's If it's half of Alamola's health, that's insanity. That's a lot more healing than I thought I was going to get. Boy, howdy. Okay. Don't want to use Haze. Don't want to use Haze. Let's go back to Violet Vex. And I think, uh, I think we might be safe here. I think we're ready to just try to sweep the rest of our team with Violet Vex and have those other two people in, in backup... You know, just in case. And we're confused. Awesome. Awesome sauce. As as the, the kids might say these days. Awesome sauce. Go for the wish. Don't hit yourself in confusion, because that'd be pretty bad for everybody involved here. Don't hit yourself in confusion. Yeah, your wish. Let's see if it comes true. Let's see if that wish comes true. Heal up from that. And we will protect again. Maybe we should be healing up other people, but uh, I, th I think Violet Vex has this. As long as he snaps out of confusion soon, of course. Get all that great health back. We're pretty much- yeah, we're back to full, and then we take burn damage, but that's fine. It's not a huge deal. Let's finally go for the toxic ice punch. Yeah, it does eight damage. Great. Hit myself in confusion, probably. No, we got the toxic off! Which means, low punny, your days are numbered, your turns are numbered, almost literally, quite literally, you could say. Violet Vex heals up and then takes the burn damage, I have to imagine. Now I guess we just keep wishing. <laughs> I mean, we got 5 PP left on it. Ah, uh, we got 5 PP left on it. I, let, let's save the wishes for when we really need him. Let's go for a soak just to lower the damage that he's doing. Because really, we just need to stall now that he's, you know, toxic, confused. Or toxic, I mean, I'm the one who's confused. Wow, four turns in a row I didn't hit myself. It must be a new record over here. I'm actually <laughs> getting lucky in this fight. Lopunny takes even more poison damage. I think you'll be dead next turn from poison. So let's go ahead and heal up all the way to fight your final Pokemon. And here comes a Thunder Punch. Snapped out of confusion just in time. Here comes the wish, and here comes death by poison. Goodbye, low punny. It's been fun, but really not at all. Yeah. Get out of my face. What is your last Pokemon? I hope it's not too good. <laughs> because it's not like I'm I'm guaranteed anything here. I'm kind of still fucked in a lot of ways. Air Slash. Didn't I get rid of Air Slash on you a long time ago? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. No. Keep old moves. What's your last pathetic Pokemon? Milotic. I don't even have to use soak on that thing. It's already water. Perfect. Great. Let's go for the toxic. Go for the toxic. Hydro Pump's not going to do a whole lot against Violet Vex, I don't think. Oh my god, never mind. I spoke too soon because it was a critical fucking hit. Which, of course, it would be. Why wouldn't it be a critical hit? But you're poisoned, which I think means we might be good here. 
My wish comes true. I heal up a little bit from this, but then the, the burn damage, of course. You take some poison damage. And I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect and wish back and forth until I think maybe Violet Vex needs to get out of there. Which might come sooner than later if these hydro pumps keep getting crits. Maybe Violet Vex is going to die. Maybe. I mean, he's, he's going for a hydro pump against a, a fish and it did like 150 damage. So anything's really possible here. Go for the wish. Go for the wish. Dragon Pulse. Okay, you're switching it up on me. That's fine. That's not a stab move. So I should be okay. <laughs> I should be okay. My wish will come true, and I'm gonna protect! Uh, this is slow going, but poison does more and more each turn, so I just gotta stall and hold on as long as I can. And now I'm thinking, you know, I probably could have got through this fight without anything dying. It, it is unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, these things happen. These things happen, folks. I, I got a Scraggy waiting in the box. He can be my new fighting Pokemon. <laughs> Lovable Scraggy. What, what a scrapper he is. A, a Scragger, <laughs> you might say. I'm losing my mind here, folks. It's a 30-minute Pokemon battle here on the Monkey Jones channel. Go for Wish again. Hydro Pump. Go ahead, be a crit. I don't even care. No, I wasn't. If it was, I probably would have died. The wish is gonna come true, folks! The wish of us winning this battle is gonna come true, because I think... I think my Lodic is done for. You're gonna take a whole bunch of damage, and then I'm gonna protect, and then it's all done! It's all done! Let me guess, I still gotta fight Ultra Necrozma without healing, is that what's gonna happen? Surely this won't be the final boss of this... of this boss rush section of the game. Who's coming up next, folks? Who am I fighting after Luzamine? Just give me Ultra Necrozma, I guess I'm ready for it. And you're done! And you're done! Get out of my face! Fuck you! Almost killed everybody again! We had one casualty, that was my fault for not thinking of a different strategy, but fuck it. Fuck it, somebody was probably gonna die, cause I'm... I'm so shit at this game, but we survived that round. Oh, Guzma, do you wanna fight again, buddy? I'm fine with that! Yeah, let's go! What is even happening? I beat you! Why is your evil plan still going on? And you keep talking about Necrozma, making me think like I'm gonna go fight it in five seconds. In which case, I'm just gonna turn off the game and never turn it back on! 